what we're doing right now is exploration in its purest sense. There's a moment where the hair is raised on your arms where you realize I'm the first or the only person that knows this and I'm about to give it to the rest of the world. You know, it can't just be exploration for industrialization of the deep sea. It's got to be exploration for the betterment of humanity and the advancement of science. When we started designing this ship, we wanted a vessel that was extremely capable as a scientific research platform to do all the types of experiments we do in an academic university laboratory. So it gives us a chance to discover things in real time and expand on those discoveries while we're still on the location. Ocean Explorer has four laboratories. The wet lab for processing biological samples that come from the submersibles and the ROV. Our ocean genome sequencing lab. We can bring that sample in here, we can sequence its full genome, and we can discover whether it's a new species or not. Our imaging laboratory facility, inside that we have a stereofluorescence microscope that allows us to look for biofluorescence in different animals. A lot of cases in the oceanographic community you have manned submersibles or ROVs. It's really unique to have both. There are not very many ships out there that can deploy all of these types of systems from the same platform in the course of a single cruise. We can now map everything from the sea surface down into the sea floor, and then we can ground truth that with both the submersibles and the ROV to really explore the whole volume of the ocean. When we get to the bottom, we start videoing the sea floor, and she'll see something, and then we'll bring the ROV up to it. She'll identify it and give us sort of a thumbs up whether she wants to collect it or not. And then we'll use the manipulator arm and gently bring it into the chamber pot. The ability to direct the pilot on which samples to collect and then to physically see those samples come up to the surface and then to be able to actually hold something in my hands that came from 1,200 meters was a very big deal for me. Having everything together on this vessel allows us to go from exploration all the way to discovery in the same context. We hope that by showing this huge, exciting, fabulous field component to science, especially ocean science, people will start engaging more with their understanding of what science is and what it can be.